I'm Dallas photographer Jason Olsred and today I'm going to show you how to use Inner Glow to blend your composite photography. All right, are you ready for this? All right, let's get into today's tutorial on blending. Uh, this is going to be a really fun, cool tutorial, I think, for you. It's going to be pretty quick, obviously. Uh, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I blended these edges of this uh, composite photography uh, with the background. Okay, so uh, a lot of times the, the most common question I get when it comes to any of my composite photography is actually with blending. You know, how do I blend the subject with the background, that type of thing? Uh, I think this is one of the most important aspects of compositing uh, to make your uh, images or your art look believable. All right. And, and clearly with my composite photography, I'm creating unbelievable images, things that uh, wouldn't really exist in reality. But it's very important that everything looks natural, as natural as possible and blends as naturally as possible. Uh, and when I do this blending uh, technique or when I do these blending procedures, I don't have necessarily a step-by-step -step process that I go through. It's different with each and every composite. And with this one that I did today here for uh, the marketing guy at Sync Lab Media, I actually did something that I'd never done before. And I wanted to share that with you because I thought it really worked pretty well. And it's something that I kind of wanted to try for a while, but just kind of, you know, I couldn't get anything to really work the way I wanted it to. So I tried it and it worked so i'm gonna do it for you so here's our photoshop of um john is our marketing guy at seek lab media and i always kind of like looking at the before and after so this is our before image what we started with and then we went to this caricature and then we changed shirt color added in shading and shaping and uh, some other things there with him on that and then we ended up with our our final product R. I hear a lot of people say R. it's really our O-U-R not A-R-E <laughs> anyway I guess that's just our lazy vocabulary okay so this is our uh, final product here the one that I will deliver to John at Sync Lab Media and so I'm going to turn off all these layers here so we can really see what we're doing I'm not going to turn that one off so let's leave that on and I'll leave the all right so this is our layer here so what I did simply was add an inner glow and an outer glow now the outer glow has nothing to really do with the blending of this image but the inner glow does so what we're looking at here is are these edges and I as you can t as you remember I cut him out of a uh, somewhat grayish background and so I'm going to have that kind of residue or the residual gray reflecting on his on the edges of his uh, body and shirt and, and that type of thing so when I cut him out there's no way to cut everything out we're going to get a a nice light edge and we're going to notice that light edge especially when you put it on a dark or a black backdrop like I did here now when I went into this image and I photographed it I didn't really know that I was going to drop it into necessarily a dark background so uh, that's just how it worked out for me uh, but an easy way to do that or to fix that is what I'm about to show you so I'm going to take a copy there we're going to get rid of these effects because I want to show you from step by step what I did here but what we're going for is an inner glow that is going to knock out those edges those light edges that we see on the uh, subject here who is John okay so we're gonna keep that in there we're gonna go here and now this is our subject with our light edges I'm gonna simply go in here double click bring up my layer style box option box and then we're gonna click inner glow inner glow I'm gonna choose a black for this composite if you have a uh, 
a background that's a different tone or a different color, you can choose whatever tones or colors you need to in order to make it blend. You can even go as far as adding different layers and tones and colors and then painting out areas that don't match. So if I wanted this to be more of a purpley edge, then I could go in here and click that, create that layer and then paint out everything else and just go about it that way. I don't want it that way though. I do it a different way for that. So we're gonna click black. I'm gonna go up here to, for this, I chose uh, hard light, not vivid light. I chose hard light. Uh, and that gave me, I'm gonna really pump this up so we can see what the heck we're doing here. Okay, so we see a big, uh, a lot of black there on the edges. So we wanna drop that down. We only want to really hit the edges there that we need, okay? And we can up that opacity to 56 to, you know, 100. 100 is gonna be way too sharp or way too dark. So we drop it down maybe into the 30 somewhere. Gives you a nice, nice uh, edge there. See a little bit of edge on his finger there, but that's okay. I'm not too concerned about that because when we go in and, and add in all the other layers that will blend in real nice. I'm just really wanting to make sure that his shirt, the pants down here, his arms, those type of things blend in. Okay, so I think that inner glow looks really good there. So when we take that inner glow away, the other thing that I really wanted to point out is you get this hard edge, okay? These hard edges really don't exist in reality. They, it makes that look like a composite, like it's really been, uh, like John has really just been kind of dropped onto that background. And although <clears throat> realistically we know that's what happened, we don't want it to look so dang obvious. So this inner glow helps us get rid of some of that hard edge effect, if you will. Now, what I have never done before, and I've always wanted to try uh, to really give uh, my subject some separation from, from the background is to add a outer glow to it. So we're gonna add an outer glow. And in this case, I'm gonna make it black. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna do maybe a soft light. I'm not sure what I did on the uh, other one, but let's bring that in. Okay, so that gate, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. So that gives John some nice separation from the background as well, which I really, really like. If we go drop back out here. So we see that. There. So that's the difference between using an inner glow and an outer glow uh, versus nothing. Okay, so then we use that and then we're going to go in here and I'm just going to really quickly click through these other layers here and show you uh, when you add all these other layers on, you see how it begins to really blend in nicely uh, and look really, that's it. I mean, that looks pretty dang awesome. Now we know composite photography at least the composites that I do really are contrived and they're meant to look not realistic. I don't want to look, I don't want my images to look like they could really happen in real life. That's why I do a lot of caricature type things. I overemphasize certain features on people, uh, personalities, those type of things, stereotypes, whatnot. Uh, and so I think that gives us some latitude uh, to be able to uh, you know, like add in the outer glow and give that separation and still fit within the realm of normal and maybe some reality to it. Uh, although we know that most people don't walk around with black glows <laughs> surrounding their bodies. I think that when somebody looks at this composite, it really does come across more believable and it gives that separation from the background that I've been wanting. Now, could I tone this down? Could it look better? Will it work on every image? Yes, yes, and probably not. Okay, so I just, I think it worked well on this image, especially uh, because it is so 
contrived, so painterly, so photillustrative, if you will. <laughs> okay, so anyway, the inner glow and outer glow, two things that I've used to on this composite to really bring, uh, to, to blend my subject with the background. So as always, go out, try the inner glow, try the outer glow, leave your links in the comment section below because I'd really like to see what you guys are creating. Uh, and if you have any questions or any uh, ideas or things that you'd like to see tutorials on, also leave those in the comments below because it's super important. That's what I uh, kind of gear my YouTube you know, videos to is, is what you want to see and what you'd like to learn what I'm doing, all right? And so this is just one way that I blend among many, many other ways. We'll get into those on later tutorials, but go out, try it, create some awesome composite photography, and I'll see you next time on The Factory.